things on the ground. We don't want any country driving their standards. We want the standards set by the government and take into account the policy setting when it comes to this logistics. Therefore, I think let's put into the equation now for the three million number one and number two, what is your policy with respect to the standardization? Thank you. Thank you very much. We are at the start of the <laughs> As to the second question, uh, it's in form of a grant and a loan, and we are going to put in place all the areas that we have mentioned. I did mention when I was speaking that probably one of the areas that we need to increase the uh, uptake is looking to financing some of the infrastructure projects, and especially last mile for those who are manufacturing uh, uh, these motorcycles and batteries and what have you, the engines, uh, the assemblers. So we look into how can we assist them uh, have a last mile input uh, using the climate finance. So, so those are some of the, the areas in which we want to give the funds into. Automatic gear boxes. So it's the same thing that uh, we are about to have. When the same 90s uh, mobile telephone, we used to have uh, the one with the code. Today everyone has a mobile telephone, has internet access, has a camera on their phone. So basically, change is permanent. Uh, let us embrace change. This is the way to go so that we reduce our carbon footprint. Yes, so we're planning to roll this out to, um, to 5,000 in the next three years and 1,000 in this year. So our keen interest is mainly to have um, this um, comply with, um, with the Kenya's powers initiative to have electric vehicles on the road. Yeah. electric buses in the next three years okay, locally assembled right here in Kenya. Why does this matter? We're talking about a massive transformation here uh, in Kenya in terms of the entire transport ecosystem. Central to that is this national e-mobility policy which is being structured by the e-mobility task force. It is talking about standards, it's talking about regulations, it's talking about incentives. The entire industry here in Kenya is still small startup companies like Basibo. We are growing very fast, but we need the government support to get through these early years of establishing this new industry, after which worse of electricity every single night and mitigating 80 tons of CO2 every single month. And this is still just the beginning because 20 buses, that's 0.1% of the Nairobi market for public transport. We understand you want to run. This is a new, a new uh, mobility that, that is that has been introduced by case the Kenya Power and say it's a hundred percent electric. Yeah. 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 Yeah.